Uh, can you provide a definition for the word woman? I provide a definition? Mm -hmm. no. Yeah. I can't. You can't? Not in okay. this context. So I'm not a biologist. Of that just upset them. They, why? They what is why? the answer? What is the answer in terms to of that question? People? Way too many watch and believe this shit show. So don't you dare tell me the spew isn't worth covering. Isn't it strange that in just a few years, we went from celebrating women to a brainwashed, ideologically subverted cult that can't even tell you what a woman is? As if we're talking about ghosts or aliens or interdimensional beings. Perhaps the thorniest problem facing any young man is finding a woman in the first place. It turns out to be nearly impossible. We begin to wonder, where are all the women? The overheated references in poetry, the images that dominate our media. Is it all an elaborate fraud? This grainy photograph is the only direct evidence we have of a woman in her natural environment. Someday, perhaps, an actual woman will emerge, and they will no longer exist only in the realm of myth and maybe. We're gonna get right into this clip, but right after I tell you about this free offer from Noble Gold. For years now, people have been setting up a little contest between crypto and gold. Both carry stuff and they travel from A to B, but they do different jobs. Gold's job is to keep the value of your money safe and preserve its value. And since Ukraine and the oil and inflation crisis, it's done a brilliant job compared to stocks and other investments. So if you're worried about what's going on right now and who isn't, just talk to an expert at Noble Gold about precious metals IRAs for your retirement. They'll put you straight on your options and hold your hand through the whole setup process. And this month, for any qualified IRA, you'll get an incredible three ounce silver American virtue coin completely free as a thank you. Call 877-646-5347 now to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. You can also check out the link in the description or pinned comment. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. A couple of my neighbors in the Midwest, we're talking the Midwest here. Right, right. And as we know, the Midwest is nothing but a bunch of racists, sexists, rubes, domestic terrorists, white supremacists, and idiots. Go on. They were completely against her based on her answer of what is a woman. Mm -hmm. And so I think that Lindsey Graham or some of the other radicals do that on purpose because perhaps they're trying to overshadow her really, really. What she didn't point. give a definition. What? That she couldn't. That she didn't. That was she it. She said, I'm not a biologist. Yes. What? It's radical to ask a Supreme Court justice nominee what a woman is. When our society is currently being bludgeoned with the batshit crazy claim that men can have babies and women can have a penis. Objective reality and definitions matter. And this might sound crazy to you. I've talked about it before, but I can't help thinking about the Star Trek TNG episode where Picard is tortured into accepting that four lights is actually five. Picard, stop it, or I will turn this on and leave you in agony all night. There are four lights. There are five lights. How many do you see now? It's a brainwashing tactic that seems disturbingly familiar these days. I personally believe that adults can identify however they want, live and let live. And I have no hate for trans people whatsoever, but they're being used for some other agenda. What, what does annoy them about it? That just upset them. They, why? They what is what? the answer? What is the answer in terms to of that question? Most people think it's the it's the uh, it's biological gender at which you're born, the sex organs. It's that like you're a born gotcha with. question about trans transgender. It, it is, is, but that, yeah, absolutely, it's really not hard to understand. We are being told over and over to ignore objective reality. And the people that are doing it seem to be in a cult to the point they can't tell you something as simple as what a man or a woman is. Something as simple as a person born with a penis and with an X and Y chromosome in their cells is a man. A person born with a vagina and internal reproductive organs along with two X chromosomes in their cells is a woman. Now I'm not gonna get into rare genetic disorders, but this is what the typical man and woman is. It's not hard unless you're part of a threatening cult. It's definitely not a gotcha question. We're talking about a Supreme Court nominee here. And it's not necessarily about transgender people, but more about the people who are trying to manipulate the language to suit their extremist political agenda. It matters if a Supreme Court justice can't tell you what a man or a woman is. That can have an effect on her ruling.
rulings. I'll be looking online and I see like conversations uh, that some reporter is having with a Trump supporter and they sound ludicrous to me. I mean, the yeah. things that come out of their mouths, are, one of them said that they thought that George Bush was a Nazi. Was a Nazi. Yeah. And then you think, how dumb is this woman? Silence is being complicit, Stephanie. Silence is I'm being complicit. And you I'm gotta call an idiot call. an no, no. idiot when you see the idiot because I think it's really <laughs> taking down our country. Oh, no, it's it's taking then. down our country. I Except agree. The total lack of self-awareness is literally mind-blowing. And let me just prove it to you. So there is no doubt that these harpies are everything that they say we are. Behar and the other hyenas flip out about some rando who claimed George W. Bush is a Nazi, using her to smear everyone she disagrees with as an idiot, which they maniacally repeat about 10 times, contorting their chud faces like they forgot to take their meds. Well, as it turns out, on February 28th, 2007, Joy Behar said of the George W. Bush administration, Administration, quote, I don't know what it's going to take for people to really wake up and understand that they are liars and they are murderers. On May 19th, 2008, Behar screamed that George W. Bush had, quote, no business speaking to the Jews because his grandfather Prescott Bush was some sort of secret Nazi sympathizer. It's very interesting and ironic that George Bush Sr., George Bush, this one, his grandfather, this one, the late, I don't like to speak ill of the dead, but in this case, it's fun. <laughs> He was a United States Senator, Prescott Bush, okay? He was the director and shareholder of companies that profited from their involvement with the financial backers of Nazi Germany, okay? This is his grandfather. He has no business talking to Jewish people when he's got this right in his backyard. This guy. One of them said that they thought that George Bush was a Nazi. Was a Nazi. Yeah. And then you think, how dumb is this woman? Just remember one thing, she will be voting. She yeah. will be voting. <laughs> All right, folks, share this video wherever you can. Hit that like button and let us all know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.